part here. There is an interesting stone up here. If you want to see it? I think it's on the next drive. Yeah, this it's a pretty good sized cemetery for a little town. Yeah. Pepper, that's a Prince William name. Fisher, Prince William name. Murphy, Prince William name. There you go. There's the meteorite. Ah, uh, that's where it is. Okay. I think it's a meteorite. What do you think? Yeah, that's hard to say. It's not metallic. <laughs> Most of them are metallic. It's not metallic? Nope. Uh, well, probably. The stone, in, yeah. the stone in front of it, Molly C. Gray, and C, that that was the family that had it. It came from south of Walton, Indiana, on their farm, and they moved it here in the 30s, and then they buried them later. Yeah, see, so most... I think, well, it was Space the same year when it, when it hit the farm in the 1880s, it was the same year as an ex a volcano. So could it be pre-atmospheric material? You know what I'm saying? If, it, if there was a gigantic explosion, and here's, here's some of our Prince William people right behind me coming around. That's uh, Carol and Danica. Oh. What do you say? Hey. I'm showing them the meteorite. Oh, a space rock. <laughs> We're going to do a we're going to do a Prince William tour here of the town. Video? He's going to video tape. Uh. It. <laughs> Haven't seen it yet. We haven't. Uh -uh. We're out that way. Can I come and see it? Yeah. All right. Show them the future side of the drive-in theater. Yes. Is that drive-in theater? Yeah. We'll come by after we go through our tour of Prince William. <laughs> uh, they're making a drive through move here <clears throat> they uh they live on the watson farm which is uh that's where that church was i'm talking about the middle fork uh, oh right so that was uh jacob watson was one of the first settlers of this whole area right here 1830s so yeah, yeah they own the old watson farm <clears throat> but anyway that's the old uh I think it could have been from that volcano, and it wasn't from outer space. And maybe over the years, things have just chipped away at it. And when they moved it, maybe that whole layer that was on top got. Let's say like uh, a, most a space rocks are yeah metallic. That's a, that's a conglomerate. Yeah. But it was the same year. Like I said, there was two massive volcanoes in the 1800s, and that was the same year. So could it be a pre-atmospheric rock? Mm. It, it, and it was like over in Indonesia, but what if it went up, you know, several thousand Damn. feet and stood, you know, <laughs> kept moving up, going up, next thing you know, it falls on the farm here. Is it possible? Uh, I don't think it's from, I don't think it's from outer <laughs> space, but could it be pre-atmospheric? I mean, it's on the other side of the planet, but it's... But it was one of the, yeah. it was the two, one of the two massive volcanoes that year. Yeah. I don't know. Good. I don't think it's from outer <laughs> space, but that they say it is. Yeah, it'd be pretty crazy though. Like some volcano on the other side of the planet <laughs> lands a rock in the middle of Indiana. Well, they, they they even had a write up in that when they brought it here, and there was a guy that was a boy, and I think it was 1870s. He was a boy, and he was the first one to find it. And all these doctors came from Chicago, like the scientists from Chicago, to see what it was, and he he was the one that took them to. Yeah. That'd be pretty impressive, though. But it's, it's a weird story. I mean, that, I think it's more of a pre-atmospheric rock than a, than a rock that's from outer space. But. Yeah. Okay, we're on the Prince William Road here. Back, I guess I should have pointed out, that was an orphanage back here, back in the day, back a hundred and some years ago. That was the old Rossville orphanage. orphanage. This house they moved it from about three miles west of, or east of here and they moved it here and it's a greenhouse now. Well, we're still on the Prince William Road here. It's uh Oh yeah, I don't know about copyright music. <laughs> Come to 
boat, the prince swam, and he brought a shotgun. <laughs> that was the story. The only Republican in the whole town. Uh, there he is. <laughs> a literal Democrat township. Yeah, we're in Democrat town. We will be. I think we're still in Clinton County. As soon as we turn here, we'll be in Carroll County. So it's not too far. Oh, why do we need to go on down here? The guys we talked to, Carol Miller, they own the farm over there. They want to have the drag strip. Okay. This was the old Crow farmstead. I just want to go down here because this is where this church was. Uh, was it, it called the Middle Fork Church, 1831 to 1838. Wow. And what I was told, it was uh, it was land by Shadrick Bowen. Which is an early, he's buried in the Rossville. There's another Rossville cemetery, it's an older one. I suppose the church was right here on the corner of this. There was a lot here. The grave. church was right in here. There's one gravestone that supposedly was one of the Ashbas. Hmm. One of the Ashbas in the 1830s. We know of at least one. But right here's where the church was until 1838. And there was probably a small graveyard there. So this is where Middle Fork would have been. And then all those churches split off, became eventually Cutler, Rossville, Sedalia, churches that had churches one time anyway, uh, Flora, all yeah. came off of that church. It was There was different denominations that used that. Okay. The Presbyterian was the main. There was Baptist, there was probably Methodist in there. That's just a little jaunt there away from Prince Wham. Basically, holding, we're heading to the town. We're heading to Prince William. I think does the sign say Prince William on it? No, the road says there. Prince William Road. Uh, yeah, it does. So this is uh, Prince William Road of Carroll County here. Beautiful town. 800 South. We are officially in Carroll County. We are home to Prince William. Carol and Danica lived here on the old Watson farm. Said it's, she was the first settler of basically this area in the 1830s. Probably about 1830, right? Like, rural, right? Like. Hmm. The rural farm was over here. Is it rural? He's the one that had the barn that they donated to Connor Prairie. was there when he bought it and then so like where that where house is standing right now basically where the trees are on or, this, yeah. this side of the trees here's the middle fork creek middle fork you creek right here kind of huge Oops. if it was there are abutments there uh see that little island right there i think that's pretty close to where the road went through and like, there are abutments i've been down there before there are abutments down there for the old road you see the tree line here there's where the road went. You can see it from on up here. Just on the other side of those big trees, see in between there's a gap, that's where the road was. Okay. So they replaced the bridge a hundred years ago and that's, they redirected the. Okay, somewhere in here, we might be right on top of it, is where the stables and supposedly the stagecoach stop is right in here. I think somewhere right in here. We may be right on top of that because the road changed over the years. We're south of town. Uh, we back up here. It's probably over here. That's lot one right up there. Yeah. We need to back up here so you can see the mill race. It's on my side. Nobody coming. You can kind of see it still. <laughs> would have been a grist mill here and the woolen mill was built what 1860 I think it's actually built before that 
He could have been here 1850s, Sammy Weaver. But here's the mill race. We'll get back here so you can see it better. And the people we just talked to, Carol Miller owns this, so. Okay. That is the mill race that went right along the creek, and then the, the mill was right, right in here somewhere. It would have been the woolen mill and the grist mill. Is any remnants left? Uh, no, it said in 1913 the flood that it was gone. <coughs> and they farmed over it since then. But yeah, the woolen mill okay. and, the, and the grist mill were there. The road was on the other side there. Lot 11, the house is still here at the barn. It looks like it's nearly gone. Like the original, probably? Yeah, supposedly where Dillinger kept his oh, cars. Nice. Part of it's gone, but half this north half's gone. It was a lot bigger barn than that years ago. Okay, so livery stable, somewhere back in there. Okay, lot one, the store, and the first minister was here, lot one. This was the east, and then lot one west. So the store would have been here. Another store would have been there. What was this lot over here? I can't remember. Well, this is north, uh, <laughs> northwest right here. Maybe ten. This guy is coming. Maybe ten. Yeah, and then lot ten. Yeah, that was That's another funny. store. So basically, where's, where's eleven? Down. Okay, here's 11, the only house left. There was a tavern right here, and became a beauty shop sometime in the 30s and 40s, but it was a tavern. There was a tavern on lot one originally, too, so two taverns in town, which most of the little towns didn't have them, but they did here. Oh, uh, yeah. And then 10, 13, 21, 27, and 30, all those were probably businesses over the years. This is lot 12. Then 22 would have been the next lot, 23, and I'll drive up there, and then 29 on this side, and then the other side, 30 on the way up there, coming back, 27, 24 where the gas station was on 24, 21, 13, and 10. Okay, so we'll go on down. I'll show you where I was told where the town ended, how big the lots were. The lots went this way, they went long. Yeah. So they went, went from west to east, back. So there would be lots. We're probably real close to 12 right now. Or this is 12, this would be 22 and 23 on your side. See, there's nothing here. And then 28, we're getting real close to right in here. And then 29, supposedly it ended up here somewhere. This would have been the last lot, the stone here. Oh. So right here's there. the start of lot 29, and it goes wow. up probably, who knows, however 66 feet is. And so right. somewhere in here, town ended, heading east. Yeah. Okay. So then we'll get turned around up here the next road. And this is where Mr. Jervis lived. He told me a lot of information. He owned it in the 60s, and he passed away, I don't know, maybe 10 years ago. I'm glad I've got some of these, I was able to get some of these people before they passed some of the information. You know, I should have brought the picture of that. I, like I said, I couldn't find it this morning. Things like this happen to me when I do this plank road and stink town thing. Okay, we'll get turned around here. Down there, the briny pond lit was. Samuel Weaver owned all this land back here at one point. He gives the guy that had all the He had the money early on because he had the he was in the Adams Mill and then he came out here and did his mill. He had mills other places too. Okay, so we gotta get back up to that last lot. Yeah, so where would uh, so the school? Or, yeah, yeah, the school would been. Let's go up just a little bit. As I remember, it somewhere right in there. Back in there would have been probably halfway to that where it drops off. Yeah, let's see what it would have been. Drop off there. So let's come back here. We're at lot 30, basically, somewhere in here. And then we go to lot. Uh, it's like 
27, 21. 27. Lot 21. We discussed all these earlier. These were probably businesses. Doctors live around here. Yeah, like Washington Street would have been this way. Yeah. We hit Washington Street somewhere in there. That hit. There would have been lot 20, 25, 19, 18 on the north side of it. And then on the south side of it would have been. When you, uh, when you crossed High Street down there, 3 and 17, coming back, 16, where the school was, 15, and then you go to 14 and 13 right in here. 13 would have been right on this road, 13, the corner of Washington, and, uh, hmm. and then you go to Lot 10, down here. over or not as you go and we'll just follow the other street there you can't go down washington street it's not there anymore <laughs> yeah <laughs> we're high street where it is but we have frankfurt and we have main we have two streets yeah, yeah. left main street so here yeah we still have main street <laughs> as you can tell we're 725 now so yeah lot uh, 10 is a store too i mean you had general stores you had dry goods stores and you had groceries so yeah so yeah one would have been right here yeah one East would have been here, which would have been the woolen mill store. I, no, it would have been the regular store. And then one west would have been the woolen mill store. So I don't remember. I think they might have, the lots went that way over here. I can't remember. But basically, there were two big lots. Hmm. Lot one, where now the lot two would be right in here. Three, four. I think the town ended right in here. Let's see, I got a curve. Before it drops way down is where the, so probably right here would be the last lot heading, then you need to head yeah. north. So let's see what, what that would be. Uh, started at one, two, three, four, five on the south side. So five would have been right here. And then where you're setting, lot seven. Yeah. And, and then following high street, Lot 16, heading north, lot 25, and lot 31 on the other side of the corner of High and Washington Street on down there. Mm -hmm. About halfway down to where the house is. Hmm. And then you go on the west side of the street, you have lot 32 in the corner on the other side of that. And then 18 and 19, we're on that Washington Street. And coming back this way, 17 and 3. And then lot six across the road here and lot one. That's not right, is it? It can't be one. That's mislabeled. I can't remember where that was at. Because lot well, I've got that confused. Lot one would have been over here. Oh. Because it was split. It's another house. Okay. 33. <laughs> uh -huh. No, we didn't have a 33. Uh, just kind of weird how the thing and then the, the guard family owned on down here and then the, there was a guy that his name was Barnum Hufford and he had a, a uh, implement and he did the old uh, implements for farm machinery let's see if I can get turned around somehow actually I could have did it right back here there was a little thing where that I wonder where that's even there there's like a a little driveway back here. Oh, where the, the yeah, I think it's just like a meter yeah. thing. Yeah. Convenient. Who knows? Maybe that was where the road was. It's kind of weird it'd be there, wouldn't it? Yeah. Hmm. Let's just think this out here. If the lots went like this, you could get five houses there, can you? If there were 66 wide and 133 deep. So maybe this was the end of the high street. Maybe lot five was right here. Lot four, three, two, and one. One, one. One east and one west. Hmm. And then the following back, we're overlooking where the mill race was and where the woolen mill was. So 
they had to come a quite a distance just to get their woolen products up to the store, didn't they? Oh, yeah. <laughs> had a, probably had a card or something they pulled. Had to uh, carry it all the way up here, yeah. Because the, woolen, the woolen's mill store would have been up in here somewhere. But on the other side, coming back, let's see where we're at. So lot seven back here off the street on the other side, and then lot eight's right here. No, no. It's like lot 16. No, I'm getting all confused here. Uh, Turn around. There we go. We're on Main Street, right? 10 or 9, probably right here. Okay. Yeah, 9 and 10. So 10, 9. And then you have the alleyway in between 8 so and 7. Could something. that be the alley then? Maybe. He said, yeah, he said they were pretty big lots. Probably could be. Could be the alley. We don't know. I haven't, I haven't actually measured this. I mean, you could. You could come out here and... You think about, like, a meter would probably go in an alleyway. Like, a meter stationally. I mean, I don't know if that probably exists. So they, it could on. be. It's either High Street or the alley, I bet. Yeah, I don't know if the meter thing existed back then, but that'd be a place to put that. Like an alley. So 10, 9... Wherever the alley was, and then on the other side was eight and seven. And then if you went down Washington Street, the school, like I said, the school, what did we say that was? Lot 16? Or 26. Uh, like 26. 26. Yeah. Halfway to that barn over there for the school. That's why it was so odd coming down this road and you see this building out in the middle of nowhere. Well, it was originally there was other houses in between there, but they were all gone. Hmm. Gary uh, Du Bois said his brother when he was a kid in the 40s and 50s was out here playing and fell through a well or a cistern or something his leg so they quit playing over here hmm. <laughs> 28, 29 <clears throat> so yeah there were 32 lots here uh, you can kind of see if we got up to the stop sign you can kind of see where the road went through there through that tree line there's the first tree line in between those different trees there would have been the road and the bridge went across yeah be all right if i walk down there let's go down to xenia first and then we'll come back i want to show you xenia because that's where the church was there was no church ever in town here yeah so there was i can't remember what was on this corner hell out 11 it's blacksmith and Oh, that'd be over there. Yeah, the blacksmith shop was down here. And then the somewhere, probably right on this road was where the inn was, because how, see how it drops? So that was probably where the uh, stagecoach stopped. Now, originally, this was a crossroads. You know, the 750, or 700 down here wasn't there. This used to be a crossroads here, and this went straight, and then it angled back to that road where that barn, the red barn way over there, kind of angled back that way. That's and that's where Hugh Shields and Samuel Weaver, the Irishman and the the old miller, got into it, and they changed the road. <clears throat> I think Samuel Weaver owned all this land, and he didn't want it coming through his land anymore, so that's when it went down to 700. Hmm. So it was a crossroads, and you had the end just right there where the road was. So it was a stagecoach stop, and Mrs. Julius served food in the restaurant there. And she was a good cook, supposedly. Hmm. In the 18- hmm. 60s and 70s. Uh, yeah, let's go to Xenia first because it's part of the story. Okay. And then we'll come back and let you walk around. Oh, Lot Steve. 11, yeah. Well, that's Steve Matchett. He passed here in 2022 and supposedly the in the basement or wooden beams, there was, it was a log cabin originally. So that's one of the original houses. The only one left. Hmm. The storekeepers, you know, clerks and limpers and uh, different storekeepers lived there. But of course there was a tavern in the corner and it became a beauty shop I suppose it is. It's about a mile to Xenia, that's an extinct town. And there's two extinct towns pretty close together, aren't you pretty excited about this? <laughs> and this yeah. is the plank road, feel how smooth this road is. It's a smooth planks. Joe Ward lived here, he just passed away a couple years ago, but this was the old Hazlitt 
house. That's where that murder had happened, supposedly. Oh. The Hazlitz. I don't remember the other guy's name, but he was acquitted. It was in the 1880s. Old house. But Joe Ward had the communion cup for this say, uh, this church down here. Thomas Chapel Church. He showed me the communion and said his mom went to church there. It closed at like 1930. So we're not really too far. There's two cemeteries if you want to go to cemeteries. They're pretty neat. You can drive to both of them. So this is the old plank road. Uh, always wondered if there used to be trees along this farm down here. I think they're gone now. I wonder if that was part of the planks. They're gone now. the mid stop between the Winnemac and Thorntime Indian Indian tribes so that they would meet here in the 1800s supposedly. Oh they're building more houses right to sell town here. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna make a recovery isn't it? Oh yeah. Xenia. <laughs> they're gonna come back. <laughs> but like supposedly that uh, Dr. Christopher Moore had done a one of those dig archaeological digs and they determined that the water was bad. Oh this house is for sale. Yeah. We'll go back to the cemetery. Where's the cemetery? Along this road. Oh. Yes or no? Xenia Cemetery? Yeah. Let's go back here. Let's go yeah. Oh, it's back here? Yeah. They let you go back. We're in trouble. This is for sale. So that'd be a nice place to live. Yeah. So, yeah, they got the graveyard still. I wish I could buy this. I used to go back there. <laughs> anyway, there's the cemetery. Yeah, where are we going? There used to be a road back to it. It's not there anymore. So this is the cemetery of former town of Xenia. It had the church, only church around. Thomas Chapel, New Life Christian Church, I think they called it. And okay. it was... Uh, See where the house was up there that we saw across the road. See the barn? I think that's where the church was, pretty close right in there. The red house? The red the barn? The red barn, that's yeah. where the church was. The Xenia, the Thomas Chapel New Life Christian Church. And it closed about 1930. Joe Ward's mother went there. And had the town and stuff. <laughs> nice tree. were brick makers. The Tangley family had a brickyard making in here. So January 18. I can tell you probably, probably everybody in here. Was a little boy probably when they founded the town 1835. Hmm. Boy, they married. Never done it early, family, post office, I don't know anything about them, Everett. I can't remember who they married into, there's still some Everett's around. Can you read it? It's there. 1890... Shaw, isn't it? S-H? Yeah, I think it's Shaw, possibly. So it was in Shaw. Like 1859, I think. Or something like that. 
and then 1893, so he passed away. She, he, I think it's another Everett. Yeah. Everett. Oh, that's too bad. I don't think we're going to be doing that bad. That's a shame. Oh, boy. Oh, Aiken. Aiken family, they, they were right in here. They had a farm maybe a mile away. They might remember the Cunningham. That was quite happy in the family. Oh, okay. An old grave. Oh, yeah, that's, you could that's rub weird. Them, weird. Okay. Some of the winners were from Prince William. But they had a farm right in here too. Oh yeah, that's it's gonna be hard to tell what this is. What's that one say? Oh, it's hard to tell. It's pretty weird. James Winter, he was they had farm here. Bad. Yeah. There's so much moss on it, but there's a name there. It's another winter. Winters. Feels like winter, doesn't it? Oh. Uh, yeah, it does. <laughs> okay, here's the Morrison family. Morrison, yeah. Cemetery is named after. Okay. 1813, so she would have been young. Uh, oh, yeah. I don't know who she, she married Francis. I think he was the one of the postmaster. 1813 to 1906. Wow. That's a long life. Thomas Morrison, maybe. Oh, G, G E E, the G family. Oh. They had a, this G mill is just over here. So it was another mill that uh, Sammy and we would have set up. But the Chittick family owned it. Yeah. Bennett. Civil War. Oh, the Civil War. Oh, you're so warm. Yeah. He was found, he can't read. The big one. I can't read it though. Imagine it could be rough. Henry Lewis. That was one member of the name Henry Lewis that we mentioned. Okay. Henry Lewis. Died 1846. Huh. So that was one of the guys that's in Prince William. Huh. I wonder how many stones are out here over the years. Seems like I, when I got here, the field was more. 
I say some of them are not in the best shape. How many are probably that deep on the ground? Yeah. On the ravine over here. Oh yeah. There is. Oh yeah. Eighteen twelve. Wow. You know, here's the biz, there's a stone there, but we're, we're eighteen twelve veterans. Wow. Then there's uh, Hopkins. Oh yeah. Hopkins. They had a farm around here too, another Hopkins. I think they might have been I think he might have been a teacher, one of them. Joseph Watson, remember I told you the Watson farm? Yeah. For Carol and Danica. <sighs> Jacob. He's 72. He was born in 1790 something. 1790. Probably another Watson. Wow. He was born in the 1700s. Had the mill. Benjamin G. Part of the mill. The Winter family. There's that Andrew. Daniels. James Daniels. That's another name I ran across the other day. Part of Prince Ian. I think one of them caught. There's another Winter School, too, that was right here. Watson. Isaac Watson. We saw Jason. Here's the son Isaac. You see how far they were from there? Oh, yeah. He's the son of Jacob. Probably another Watson here. We got her, we got her half of that, didn't we? Uh, yeah. <laughs> that was, yeah, it was really cool, though. Mine's mill. They can put it down. Here's the yellow buttons for the old bridge set. Oh, yeah. Maybe. So they put this in, I don't know, 100 years ago on this bridge, but that was the bridge previously. <clears throat> but you can park, so people will park right here. There's like two or three places you can park vehicles so you, for kayaks to get out. Yeah. Let's see, this is where you can find some planks and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> I think they've, they've dug them out. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's cool. You see the old bridge was there. Xenia Bridge, they call it. <clears throat> so that's the next stop after Adams Mills right here. People, a lot of people we serve will put the car and bring it back. Put the car to there. Okay. Cool. It's called Iron Bridge. It's well worth it. It's a mile drive. I don't know if it was Clayton, but he was township trustee. They were getting ready to repair all these stones, and a tornado came and knocked them out. Oh no! So that's why they put this up. And literally, I mean, it was like they were working on having them all restored, and bam, tornado hit it. Ah! Uh, so they did this. That's that sucks. At least they got that. All those stones were destroyed. <sighs> Aikens, 
black family that's the prince of william area camels are right in here the krites enix of course over the, there's still enix around hazlitt that's the farms around julius Cameras or prince william they, john was the one that did the shoe uh, mccracken that's from right in here i'll come here, see uh, mooney they're all from around in here morrow patrick that was that patrick we mentioned that prince william Richardson, Prince William, John and Sebastian Routes, Prince William, Stonebreaker, the Stonebreakers over at Adams Mill helped put the mill together, and the Tingleys are over here, Thomas is over here. Mm. So basically, you're, that's what these some of these stones say. So. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's nice of them for doing that. You can walk around trying. I'm going back in the car. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm almost out of juice with this camera. Yeah, well, yeah. I'll let the switch out here soon. <laughs> The what? Xenix Cemetery. Xenix Cemetery. Okay, so this is the another Xenix Cemetery. This town had two cemeteries. Very cool. I guess unfortunately a tornado came and knocked out a few. Wow. Interesting kind of forgotten places you can find out here Midwest like this <laughs> or anywhere Cool All right, so Down here is where the plank road used to be which Right about here, we'd be walking the plank road. This plank road would have ran all the way down from Frankfurt. All through here, all the way up to Delphi. There's nothing left of it, but you can definitely make out where it used to be with that tree line.
things kind of in the way. <laughs> this the middle fork and yeah you can still see where both ends of where oh hold on <laughs> you can see where both ends of the bridge used to be I'm pretty sure it's right here down this way. Ah, there's something. A little remnants of uh, <laughs> Prince Williams here. <laughs> wow. This old nails. that's left, imagine. Oh, I gotta bring out a machete one of these days. <laughs> Just too much stuff. the plank road about 1850s there this was a convention town uh, between Clinton and Carroll counties so they met here so the people from Delphi to Frankfurt came here and they had a big convention some say as many as 5,000 people were here because it was a demonstration of the new plank road and they had bands out here playing it was like a big celebration of a political campaign I have a lot of information on that so early on this was a little thriving town 18, early 1850s. Uh, it was Senator, uh, I think it was State Senator Samuel Weaver said he was the one who got the plank road. He was in the legislature to get the plank road uh, bills to clear the, I think he was either, the, I don't know if he was Senator, he might have been in the House. But anyway, he was instrumental in getting the plank road. And so that, they had a little convention out here in the early 1850s, several of them. I forgot to mention that earlier. That's pretty cool.